Okay, so today's question is, what is the difference between pyrexia and hyperthermia? So understand that they both may seem similar that elevation of the temperature of the body, but both are different uh, technically. Basically, pyrexia is a protective response and usually the body mounts in cases of infection. So body knows that the, the microorganisms have invaded the body and to limit the growth or to kill the microorganism we need to elevate the body temperature a little bit so body re reset the temperature centers and the body temperature is elevated up to a certain extent so this temperature is not detrimental to the body but it is harmful to the microorganisms so it's a protective response to fight with the infections at times it may go unregulated that's a different uh, issue but primarily it's a protective response while hyperthermia is also a response in which the body temperatures go um, uh, gets elevated but it gets elevated beyond a beyond the control of the body and usually it is response of the to the drugs or certain condition like thyroid toxicosis so the body temperature is like 105 106 degree fahrenheit and like that and it is harmful for the body at that and it needs to be controlled uh, uh, um, uh, in an aggressive manner the cause needs to be removed and the body temperature needs to bring down because it will uh, it is very detrimental to the body in the icu while pyrexia up to a certain extent if you go to the society of critical care medicine guidelines in icu usually they say the fever needs to be treated only when it reaches above 101 degree fahrenheit the exception is neuropatient in which the patient should be febrile there should be no um, temperature elevation because it can be detrimental to uh, neurology or secondary insult to the brain so to conclude pyrexia is a protective response hyperthermia is a detrimental response pyrexia is a controlled response Hy uh, hyperthermia it's an uncontrolled response pyrexia only needs to be treated if it's detrimental to the body beyond a certain extent hyperthermia needs to be treated aggressively removing the cause and cooling down the body temperature in the ways which are available so thank you for asking do read more about it